Hey guys, this is week 13, Earth's Tilt and Placer Deposits. So we're using the Cornerstone Educational Supply Lesson Plan. The first one is Earth's Tilt. So you guys are going to be having um, real clay to use, but just for today I'm using Play-Doh. Um, you're going to make a ball. So this is all about the Earth and axis and equator. We're talking about equinox, latitude, orbit, rotation, and the hemispheres. So we're going to be making a ball to represent Earth. You're going to use your fingernail or a pencil to make um, the equator around the middle of the ball. Uh, I think it'll show up better on your clay. It's not showing up super well here for the video, but you get the idea. And you'll talk about the equator after you do that. You'll talk about that it's a line of latitude, and it's the middle of the Earth between the North and the South Poles. Um, you're going to talk about the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, and then you're going to take a sharp pencil and jam it through the middle as best you can because this is going to represent the Earth's axis. And then you're going to talk about how the Earth rotates counterclockwise and how fast it rotates. So this is all in the lesson plan. Um, then you're going to talk about how it's actually... Oh, you're going to label the top, again, with your fingernail or a pencil, uh, with an N and an S to show the northern and the southern hemispheres. And then you're going to talk about how the Earth's axis is actually tilted. I don't think it's tilted this way. So it's not straight up and down, it's tilted. Um, and it rotates counterclockwise. So then we're going to talk about the seasons by introducing the sun, a flashlight. You can be the sun and you can pass off the Earth to one of your students to rotate as you hold the flashlight up to it and you can see here I have a box but and I'm gonna have you guys in dark rooms on this day so we're gonna do a little bit of rearranging for the for science time this day but um anyway so this will be really evident to see but obviously you're talking about how uh, because the earth is tilted um, the Sun as it shines on one side that's the daytime and the back that's dark is nighttime but also because of how the sun and the earth is um, tilted, that's what gives us the seasons. So to show this even more, the lesson plan has you get four students to stand in a circle. And they're going to, here's the little picture in here, they're going to represent um, March, December, September, and June. And you're going to stand in the middle and be the sun. And you'll follow the earth around as it goes around the circle because obviously the sun is a big ball of glowing light all the time, not a flashlight only shining in one direction so you're gonna follow the earth as it goes around um, and the kids are going to the four kids are going to rotate the earth and um, walk towards their friend and then pass it off to their next friend pass it off to the next friend pass it off to the next friend you could certainly do this twice so that all the kids got a chance to do it but you're gonna be able to show them how it changes as you go through the year how the part of the earth that's getting the most sun changes so just make sure the kids are holding it kind of at the same angle and rotating the whole time. This is all very nicely spelled out in the lesson plan. So that is the first experiment and then, or whatever, demonstration. And then the second one is called placer deposits. So for this one, I made my own concoction instead of using um, their stuff. I made my own concoction. Let's all right, so here we have a mixture of soil and it's going to be, aqu it's aquarium rocks, okay? So you're going to, each kid is going to have their own um, little tray and bowl. You're going to give each kid a scoop of dirt. So I've got my, my scoop of dirt in here. And then you're going to pour, so we're talking about stream beds and bed loads and placer deposits and suspended loads. That's what this lesson is all about. And so this demonstration is just a way to show this. So you're going to be talking about um, what placer deposits are as um, that they're deposits formed by water. So the first thing they're going to do is this, is this uh, demonstration. So with their bowl full of dirt and stuff, you're going to pour pour some water in about two-thirds full and then down down in there pretty well they're going to swirl and so you they're wanting to swirl it out of the bowl 
The water, so the water is coming out of the bowl. You can already see what's happening maybe that um, what's being left is the heavier stuff. All right, so when they maybe need some more water, you can add some water. And you maybe can't tell on the video, but the water is actually clearing up because the heavier, it's only the heavier stuff that's left. There's a really big chunk of something I'm just gonna pull out. Just like a big chunk of dirt. But you can, you can see, I think, how the water's clearing up and it's mostly the rocks that are left. So basically they can just keep, okay, if I tilt the bowl, then more water can come out. And now you can really see that mostly what's left is rocks. But they can keep doing this until, um, until it's totally clear and all they have left is rocks. This is messy. So the littlest guys will probably need help, but that's that's fine. This will be really fun, I think. All right, so when it's mostly, um, when you got most of the good stuff, you can let them get a paper towel and collect, you know, maybe on, on the day we can do a better job of this, but... They can collect what they got and kind of dry it off. And they can take it home in a baggie. Take home their jewels in a baggie. So that'll be a really, really fun thing for them to do. And then you'll have more that you're able to talk about um, with placer deposits. Let's see. Hang on. Just looking through the lesson plan really quick. Yeah, you can talk about while they're doing this. Or afterwards, rather. Sorry, you're going to talk about how placers are deposit, uh, or how placer or deposits are mined. Uh, that's just a short discussion, which is really cool. Um, so that's that's all. That's what um, week 13 is. Thanks, guys.